Hello there, and welcome to another video from the Tips for China YouTube channel. If you would like to see more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so my ExpressVPN subscription expired yesterday, and I thought this would be a good chance to see what it's like to sign up for a new account in China without using another VPN. So of course, I always recommend that everybody sign up for a VPN and get familiar with it before you come to China. But some people, for whatever reason, find themselves in China without a VPN. So I'm going to pretend to be one of those people today and see what it's like signing up for ExpressVPN and installing the apps. Okay, so I've uninstalled all of the ExpressVPN apps from all of my devices, my computers, my phones, my girlfriend's iPad. I'm going to try signing up for a brand new account with a new email address and set everything up without using another VPN service. Don't forget to check out the tipsforchina.com website for all of the latest VPN reviews, speed tests, and discounts. If you need to know what VPNs are working best in China right now or get the China accessible links to those services, tipsforchina.com is the website you need to know. Let's get started here. First step is to go to tipsforchina.com and then you can get the up-to-date link to ExpressVPN, which will be accessible from China. And that link's always changing, so you can always get it from here. Click on that, and sometimes you'll get offered a special offer as well. And there's one right now for three months free on a 12-month account. So I think I'll take advantage of that when I sign up here. Yep, get ExpressVPN, 15 months. For the price of 12 months okay enter your email address james at tipsforchina.com and i think i'm going to try to pay with um, alipay because that's uh, something that people in china usually have access to and would like to use so i've went ahead and chosen payment wall to get the alipay and union pay and the other payment options so choose alipay and I uh, should get a QR code or something to scan, yes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and scan that QR code using my phone. So let me just switch over to my phone now. Open up the Alipay app and scan. Oh, what's going on? Sorry, the service is only available for China, Chinese mainland ID holders. Hmm, I'm not sure what that's about. I guess uh, maybe foreigners can't use US dollar, make US dollar transactions using Al Alipay? Hmm, not sure. Okay, let me try something else. I'm gonna try Union Pay and use my bank card with Union Pay. Hopefully, Union Pay works. Otherwise, um, I don't know, I'll have to use PayPal or credit card, I guess. I think Un Union Pay should work though. I think I've bought made US dollar transactions using the union pay before. So I'm just gonna enter in my my China bank account number. Union pay is just a, a payment processor for all of the banks in China. So any Chinese bank card should work as long as you've enabled the online payment function. So I'm gonna go ahead and click through here to the Bank of Communications website, enter in my account and my passwords. And it looks like I also need to get a mobile verification code. So I enter in my password to my bank card and then get the mobile verification code, which I'm doing now, and I'm done. Thank you for your purchase. Okay, um, click continue, I guess. Continue, please. And that right there is the best thing about ExpressVPN. As soon as you've made your payment, you can immediately just download the VPN and start using it. You don't have to wait for an email confirmation or payment confirmation or anything like that. Just uh, make your payment and download the VPN. And the Windows app is finished downloading. I'm gonna go ahead and install that now. Installation is pretty simple. There's not really any options. Just give that a few minutes to finish up.
There, and that's done. Successfully completed. So I can go ahead and um, activate now. I'll just copy this activation code from my signup page and paste that here. And I'm just gonna deselect these two options. So I don't wanna launch on a startup or share my data. And um, activating, successfully activated. Okay, and that's it, it's done. Just gonna make sure it's working here. First thing I like to do is just uh, put a star on some of my favorite servers so I can find them more easily later on. Uh, Hong Kong 1, Hong Kong 3, and Hong Kong 4. We'll star those. Okay, uh, what am I doing here? All right, let's connect to Hong Kong 1. Sometimes the connections are a little bit unstable recently because of a government meeting going on in Beijing. But um, you just have to try a few times sometimes. Uh, connected right away. Okay, let's move on to my Android phone. I've pulled up the email here from ExpressVPN, and I should mention that this is the only email that I received from ExpressVPN, which is very nice, because normally when I sign up for a VPN, I get about uh, four to five emails, like um, order confirmation, payment uh, invoice, another email for the invoice, and payment confirmation, and setup email, probably another one as well. So that's very nice to just see one email with all the information I need. So just click that button on the email and that should load up the page to download the Android app because I clicked it from an Android. Okay, it doesn't seem to want to load. Uh, let me just go back to the computer for a second actually because I'm going to download this APK from my computer on, and then I have a backup. I can always put it on with a USB in case this doesn't work, but I will try again. I'm going to try using my mobile data Okay, that seems to work. So I will download this using my mobile data. Okay, it's a little bit slow of a download using the mobile data. I'm just gonna skip ahead to the end. Okay, and um, if you get this message about um, unknown sources, you have to enable the option on your phone because we're not downloading it from the Play Store. But I had to skip ahead here because my screen recording software on the Android wouldn't let me record a screen, record the screen while I was installing an app. So anyways, uh, it's all installed, ready to go. And I didn't have to paste in that activation code. So I guess when you download the APK from the website, maybe the your activation code is already embedded into the APK file or something. I'm not sure, but I, I never did enter that activation code. Okay, so let's uh, change a setting to UDP and I've starred some of my favorite servers. So let's go ahead and choose from the list of my starred or favorited servers. Try to connect first to Hong Kong One using the UDP protocol. Give it a few more seconds. Normally connects much faster, but because of the interference from the Great Firewall during this political meeting in Beijing, it's a little bit more difficult to connect than normal. Okay, and that's connected. Next, we are on to my girlfriend's iPad. The iPad, I don't have my email set up on here, so I'm just going to go directly into the App Store and uh, download the ExpressVPN app from there. You will need to have an iTunes account with an address registered outside of China because Apple removed all of the VPN apps from the China version of the App Store. So if you do have a Chinese iTunes account, you just have to make a new one uh, with the US address and I'll put a link to a tutorial on my website on how to do that. Okay, and after you've downloaded the app, you just sign in with the username and password. And I don't recall getting a password or setting one when I signed up. So I just went to the website and clicked, uh, I forgot my password and just set a new password. But I'm thinking now maybe it's that it was that activation code is also the password that could be possible. Anyways, just sign in with the email address and password and uh, get set up here allow the app to make VPN configurations and notifications, okay. Allow that. 
Oh, I clicked the wrong one to allow the improve ExpressVPN. So I'll just change that and change some of the settings and uh, favorite a few of my favorite servers. Okay, we'll try connecting to Hong Kong one. Connecting, connecting, connecting. Yeah. It's uh, a little bit slower than normal as uh, the same that we saw in the Android. Might have to just disconnect and try again. So I'm gonna try setting the protocol to TCP. Sometimes changing the protocol will get you connected in times like this. Yeah, and that worked. I'm just gonna try putting it back on UDP again. Because normally I prefer UDP. It usually gets faster speed. Okay, it still doesn't want to connect with UDP on Hong Kong One. Okay, I'm gonna try Hong Kong Four with the UDP and see if that works. And it's finally connected. Well, that video went a little bit longer than I was expecting. So a few uh, delays due to the Alipay and some connectivity issues on loading the setup page on my Android. But uh, I did manage to get it installed on all of the devices. And I'm also planning to install it on my router. I'll be flashing the ExpressVPN uh, firmware router app. So um, subscribe if you would like to see that video when I do it. And don't forget to check out uh, tipsforchina.com to find out everything you need to know about VPN in China.